Now, if you're keen on robots, you might think you recognise this one. But it's not the R2-D2 uh, from Star Wars. Shep, be careful, boy. Be careful, he might have you. No, leave, 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 boy. Because this one's been... No, Shep, don't bite him. He's a nice little fella. Hey, hey, that's enough. Uh, this has been made by... Uh... Hey, go you go away. Derek uh, Dorking from Westcliff on Sea. Have you, have you done? And uh, he built it to a scale half size, made it from plastic moulded uh, plastic moulded over metal frames. And it took him four hours' work every evening for two months, and he finished up with this. And I think it's super. But the main difference between the Film Star robot and this one is the Film Star had a human inside it, and this one is controlled by radio. I've got a little radio here. He does all sorts of things. His head will turn from one side to the other, whoa, all the way around. Hope it won't come off, and it'll go back again. This uh, light in the front should light up if I'm lucky. Ah, oh, there we are, yes, we, we got a bit of a light. This is radio control, but very delicate. Sorry, I moved your head again. It can also go backwards as well as forwards, so we can have him going backwards. And I can get him to go forward slowly, or speed up a bit, and also put in a bit of a turn. He's going to run me over if I'm not careful. And... Actually, Derek built it before he'd ever seen the film. He heard about R2-D2, wrote to the film company, said, could he have plans? And they said, no, but you can come and have a look at the real one. And he did, took photos of it, and ended up with this. He's even got a voice, would you believe? I could... Hey, what? You've got to be off to see Derek? Oh, dear, I'm sorry about that. In that case, I'll press the button, and off you go. Right. Which way are you going? Are you going that way? He's still speaking. No, he's not speaking now, but he's off. Well, Derek, uh, th this is his first uh, attempt at free modelling. He's built lots of construction kits in the past, but this is his first major model, and he's actually going along on his feet on wheels. And if you have a look at the picture of the original one, you'll see that the original one has got three feet, but our little fella who's charging off down the studio there has only got two. And if I turn the handle on the radio, one wheel stops and the other wheel ca carries on, and off he goes again. Well, uh, this R2-D2 is becoming quite a star in its own right. Uh, it was at the South End premiere of Star Wars, and since then, it's been the centrepiece of a Star Wars display. I don't know where he's going.